Hey everyone! In our discussion today, we are going to talk about tax refunds, including the most recent IRS updates for 2024. This includes new refunds approved, processing delays, the significance of transcript codes, errors, and most importantly, when you're going to get your tax refund. Now, after rigorously filling out and submitting those tax forms, you're likely eager to learn, where's my refund, and especially since for many, the tax refund is not just additional income but a crucial support for financial stability. As we navigate the 2024 tax season, it's important to note that the IRS typically issues most refunds within 21 calendar days. However, for those who submit paper returns, expect a longer wait, possibly extending to four weeks or more. Amidst one of the busiest weeks for the IRS, following the ending of refund holds under the PATH Act, there's been heightened activity with daily tax return filings increasing. Based on the information, here is a table of estimated dates when you might expect to receive your tax refund. The first column to look at is the date for when the IRS accepts your return, so if you file by paper it will likely take longer for that to happen. The estimated schedule for 2024 is pretty straightforward and the sooner you filed, the quicker you'll see your refund. For taxpayers claiming the earned income tax credit or the additional child tax credit in 2024, refunds are expected by February 27th at the earliest if the return is filed electronically and the refund is directed to a bank account, and no issues are detected. A noteworthy update for taxpayers is the early arrival of refunds in bank accounts for some, ahead of the official refund date. This is possible when banks release the funds upon receiving the IRS's electronic notification. Up to this point, the IRS has processed an impressive 25.4 million out of the 25.5 million tax returns received, which now includes those previously on hold due to the PATH Act. To check on your refund, use the Where's My Refund tool on the IRS website. E-filers can access their refund status 48 hours after submission, while paper filers might need to wait up to four weeks. This tool provides a personalized refund date once the IRS processes and approves your return, including notifications on the receipt, approval, and dispatch of your refund. However, a growing number of taxpayers are reporting encounters with transcript codes 570 and 971, signaling potential issues. Code 570 suggests a hold for review, while 971 indicates a notice sent by the IRS, possibly requiring additional information from you. Here is a table of some more common tax codes you may encounter. If you receive a notice or see a code that you do not understand, the IRS typically provides explanations through their official communication or on their website. For early filers claiming the earned income tax credit or the additional child tax credit, the Where's My Refund tool is indispensable. Updated by February 17th for most of these filers, it offers a way to track refund status, providing a personalized date for the refund once processed and approved by the IRS. Also, we should mention the child tax credit, its interplay with Social Security, SSI, and SSDI, and the implications for tax refunds. The IRS advises taxpayers not to delay filing due to the expanded child tax credit, hinting at potential benefits from adjustments in tax laws. Also important, the expansion of the IRS's free filing program into additional states aims to simplify the tax filing process, potentially benefiting numerous taxpayers. Furthermore, the relationship between SSI, Social Security, and filing taxes, particularly in relation to tax credits and refunds, warrants attention. For those experiencing reduced refunds or discrepancies, investigating the root causes is crucial. This could range from debt obligations to errors in processing. Additionally, the impact of such things as custody on who claims the child tax credit underscores the need for careful navigation of these matters. Understanding the meaning behind IRS transcript codes can alleviate concerns about refund delays or adjustments. With the IRS poised to adapt swiftly to changes, taxpayers are encouraged to file promptly to ensure timely receipt of any due refunds. So, keeping abreast of your tax refund schedule and utilizing tools like the Where's My Refund, feature is important for financial planning. Stay updated, and be sure to check and understand your estimated refund dates.